Hello, is that Chris Day? Dr. Yeah. Day? Yeah, hi. Hello, Mal Malcolm Palmer. Is now a good time? Yes, yes. Thanks for having yep. me. Um, how would, uh, just at the outset, how would you prefer to be referred to? I really don't mind. You can call me Chris. You do, you know. you, you're right if I call you Chris? Yeah, yeah. No. All right. I still have always established that as a first goal. And what would you like to be called? <laughs> Malcolm. <laughs> All right, cool. I don't stand the ceremony. So, yeah. I mean, I think I think what would be useful for me is a couple of things. If I update you on the progress thus far, yeah, uh, yeah. then we then we probably, we need to talk about terms of reference potentially. Yeah, yeah, and then I've got a, an area which I would like to get your um, personal take on. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Around around what happened on the ARCP. It, is, is that does that sound okay with you? Yeah. 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 So um, so what I've done to date is I've contacted all the panel members as well as Dr. Brook and Chris Lacey and the lay chair who was also present in the room. Okay. Uh, and I've, I've sent them a modified version of the um, terms of reference that I sent you because it contains information obviously that doesn't necessarily concern them per se beyond the ARCP that they sat on. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. Um, so they've had a modified terms of reference. But I, what I've done is the questions that I was posing in section, I think it's 3.1 and 3.2, uh, 3.1, 3.2, I've suggested that those should form the basis of a conversation with me and I've invited them to ring me or if they prefer for me to go out to them or to come see me, whatever their preferences. Um, I've not, as I say, it's early days, I've not yet had any of them come back. Um, but I have certainly made the initial contact um, as requested by Andrew. Um, so th so that, that's the progress to date, I'm afraid. It's, it's not terribly fast. That's okay. No. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. That's fine. Grateful for contact. Okay. Uh, and, and then the terms of reference, because you, you you suggested that you wanted the terms of reference expanded somewhat, or the scope to expand, to to include the sort of the the management of your complaint, I suppose, uh, by the deanery. Can we use the deanery word? Do you think without? Offending anybody, it just makes more sense than talking about hessels and things, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but effect effectively, the management of your uh, complaints from, from, from the sort of the, the beginning of June onwards, um, and you wanted the scope to increase. I, I haven't, I have to say, haven't concluded on, um, my, my gut sense is that I'm not sure that's necessarily a wise thing. Uh, because I think the, the focus of this really should be on what went on in that ARCP. Um, um, and what went on with your meeting with, with Chris Lacey and were or were they not influenced by events that happened off stage um, and weren't related to the ARCP. So I suppose that's my gut sense. That's, that's just to tell you where I'm sort of coming from. But I would say part of the difficulty in what you're suggesting is that I ha is, is you, you quite like me to investigate Dr. Frankel and obviously Dr. Frankel is the person who, who's asked me to do this investigation. So there's, there's a degree of circularity and... Well, we could leave Dr. Frankel on. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, no, I no, totally get that. So let, let's, yeah. get, let's get rid of that aspect then, Dr. Frankel, because yeah. I understand that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, do you, want, do you want me to give you my thoughts on what you've just said? Or? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, please. Yeah, this is supposed to be a dialogue. Um, okay, so, so very grateful that you've contacted the ARCP panel. I think that's really good. Um, as I said in my email, from my own little looking into this, I'm pretty confident that from what Dr. Taking on what Dr. Lacey has said, that that conduct issue on the ARCP form box. It's yeah. likely to be tipped, you know, on the face of it, as a result of a, a story, an anecdote, an allegation, a yeah. narrative, whatever we like to call it, um, yeah, yeah. from the trust relating to management of emotions and anger management. I just think it's very, very likely to be the case, uh, and right. especially given the fact that what we've, what I've been offered as explanation thus far has been yeah. Yeah. weak. You know, it's gone from an ad this is an important point as well. It's it's also changed. It's gone from initially an admin error yeah. with Mr. Rose to then being referred to as a quite a, quite a deliberate act um, designed to um, get me support and help. Yeah. So they're two different things. I mean, they're they're okay yeah. as explanations in themselves. But yeah. they're two different explanations. Do you just cognitively reconcile the two? Well, they're, 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 different. they're different. They're different. They're different. And that, I, I, if I were to be so bold, 
uh, they're not compatible with the truth. You know, you can't. Well, okay. It can't be one or two. You can't, you can't necessarily reconcile them together. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and then with the, so, you know, with the. So this is yeah. really important. So that point. That's my point one. Is. Mm -hmm. Is I've got very very strong reason to believe that that was what was behind that. With the little um, statement that Dr. Lacey said about flying off the handle at Tommy's and um, the anecdote about her and her husband. Now, I don't want to be nasty, but I'm pretty sure that that covers that for me. You know, I, I, I've come at it from a very open point of view, um, mm -hmm. but that to me seems how I would explain it. So that's point mm -hmm. one. Point two is this engagement issue. Now, the explanation given about the anaesthetic supervisor for it, it borders on the ridiculous because mm -hmm. they were very impressed with the anaesthetic aspects. You know, I, I submitted above the ACCS requirements. Mm -hmm. I was doing an anaesthetic audit. Mm -hmm. They were very, very mm -hmm. impressed with my anaesthetic mm -hmm. aspects. So that, mm -hmm. to me, on the face of it, is very, very unlikely. So given also with what Dr. Lacey has said, I would then, this brings me to my second point, that I would say, on the face of it, the engagement box being ticked was a result of evidence and anecdote and narrative, whatever you like to call it, that mm -hmm. suggests that, that my actions um, caused a breakdown in a relationship, a supervisory relationship with Duncan Brook, because I just think that's what the evidence points to. But I would also add that it's news to me because I didn't think we had a problem. Um, mm -hmm. So, I'm, and we've definitely got a problem now, which again I'm a bit bemused by because I haven't actually accused them of anything. But you know, mm -hmm. all this business about refusing to write a statement. Uh, you know, I made a request to him, but I made a request to all other supervisors. I said, could you tell me um, what you said? or any evidence you've given to the ARCP panel. And it just so happens mm -hmm. Dr. Brooke and another guy at the trust, Dr. Harding, are the only two people that seem to have gone off on one with this request. This is a request I've made to five or six people. So that's the other thing. That's my second point. You know, I, I don't want... I've waited a long time for this, mm -hmm. Malcolm. You know, we're four months in, and it's a basic question I've asked for what was said at my ARCP. No, but I want to pin you down, if you don't mind saying, to those, yeah, those, over those, those phrases are what needs to be explained. So not a news story, not, not yeah. uh, something that's been concocted about uh, those phrases need to feature in it. Um, so that's my first and second point. Now the third point is there was a definite, and I think this is for sure now, there was a definite dialogue about a perception of my career history and past life. Yeah. Dr. Uma Etik has committed to email the terms past life, dramatic career say, change. Uh, yes, I was going to say, it, 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 presumably that came, that, that was part of an email, a, a, a longer email, because I yeah. a quote from an email. Yeah, it's all, it's all attached. The entire email has been attached in uh, the document bundle and chronology that I sent to Gary Wilson. Right. So, so that's, okay. all, that's all there. Yeah. Um, uh, and she also identified the fact that I've got a baby. So it's obviously an email um, sent to me with good, reliable recollection of my ARTP because she makes some yeah. nice comments about my baby. and So, yeah. so that, that needs to be explained too. So that's yeah. three things. And then the fourth thing is because you as an operation, well, not you personally, but as Hessel or the deanery, mm -hmm. you've made a real meal out of investigating this for the last... Mm -hmm. Um, you know, four months, we are at a point where my simple question of information that I actually have a right to know of what was the evidence considered by my ARTP panel has not been answered. And the fact that three inquiries into it by Ro Dr. Mr. Rose, Nadine Engineer, and Mr. Walter have not consulted the people on my ARTP panel. Now, even a dinner lady knows that if there's a problem in a playground, that you speak to the people involved with it if you're serious mm -hmm. about investigating it. So I can only conclude that you haven't been serious as, a, as an organisation with investigating it. And I'm sorry, that's what's caused all the detriment here, the fact that you haven't given me a straight answer to a straight question. Now, this could have all been sorted in June, and that you as an organisation need to take responsibility for the fact that this hasn't been sorted in June. And even mm -hmm. if it goes on to say that you've been misled by the trust, because I, I hope you've seen the attachments I sent you about their little private investigation, you know, yes. that's foul play in my view. Um, it's the first bit of evidence I've ever had, but to me that is definite foul play. Um, yeah. yeah.